In this video, I want to go over a uh, new section of our farm that I'm beginning to develop. And I'm going to go over some footage and some design strategy behind it um, that I filmed last year. Uh, this was back in November. I went through and uh, frosted some switchgrass and some different pollinator mixes. And I want to give a little bit of an overall design concept, why I'm doing this um, here in our, our family farm. So this farm, as you can see, uh, you know, it's not that big. It's a lot of open ground here. I'm dealing with right around 20 acres of, uh, you know, early succession growth, um, you know, very poor sandy soil. So there's a lot of different challenges with, you know, holding moisture and several different factors. And one of my biggest limiting factors here is, you know, the, the uh, limiting amount of cover here and, and also building diversity into that cover and food into that cover. So... You, as you can see right here in these in both of these uh, these purple and um, and black outlined areas, these are both the areas that the video was shot in. And it's kind of a big bowl right through here, and uh, so I'm going to be uh, frost seeding and already actually drilled this first section here um, last year, and we had a big drought that came through and didn't get really good germination out of it. Um, but as we started getting more moisture later into the season, um, the pollinator mix really started to take off and uh, I'm excited to see how it, how it takes off here this spring. And I'm going to give some more updates on that as I continue to, to do more, uh, development and filming on this farm. So then I've also got a, a travel corridor running down through here to more destination food. And then I've got, uh, uh several different pines I planted through here, some white, um, some spruce, and then uh, I've also layered switchgrass on both sides of those, which you'll see in the video. And then I'm also going to go through this with an annual screen and and um, some hybrid willow and some dogwood and stuff like that to try to build more diversity in that screen and might even put in some miscanthus. So I'm trying to layer those different screens so I'm not relying on just one screen you know, to get me all the way into late season, um, you know, so that way I can access this other blind up through up through here. And the overall goal here is ultimately start building these layers of cover all the way from, you know, out here where I've got a lot of deer bedded. And then, you know, we slowly build cover all the way to more so destination food. And then, you know, keep building it and expanding it further and further out. And, uh, you know, the less I have to push into this property, uh, you know, equals typically higher success rate. Um, I can be more strategic. Um, I can have less human intrusion impact and overall fit more deer on this property by compartmentalizing all this food, adding diversity, and using some of these terrain features uh, where these deer like to bed. So another thing I'm doing right here, you can see I've got some pines that I've been planting in here as more of a permanent screen. So I can get into that upper box blind up there and hunt my destination food. Uh, that's more of a gun season blind. Uh, and ultimately my goal here is, is to have that blind where I can see that overlook this entire bedding area. That's about two and a half acres. I can overlook my food source and then a couple other micro plots uh, that lead coming out of other uh, uh, bedding back in the timber. The other thing I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to be actually frost seeding some switchgrass right now. And that'll help with the stratification process during all winter. I can put my seed down now. I've got a clean seed bed. And then uh, it'll stratify all winter. And then the spring, it'll get a jump start. I'll hit this with lime and a foliar uh, application in the spring once it starts popping up. And uh, possibly some simazine, depending on what my weed competition is. And then uh, I'll have a really good screen on both sides of these uh, conifers and some of these white pines. And then I can keep adding in more pines and I'll have two layers of this switchgrass, uh, which will give me a really good screen in, in the, you know, one to two, maybe three years uh, with this more sandy soil. So up here in this area, I'm also going to be broadcasting a, a small percentage of switchgrass in here. Uh, I don't want this, this bedding area predominantly switchgrass. I want it more of a forb base with a lot more woody browse and other structure in it. Um, with some different conifer pockets in there too so what i'm trying to do is you know incorporate a lot of food into my bedding area i've got a limited amount of space here and i don't want just a, a predominant warm season grass 
a bedding area. I just I haven't I haven't seen those uh, produce the the bedding quality um, that that these uh, more forward base uh, you know food in the bedding areas have produced a lot better results in my opinion. So you can see here, here's a spot I've disked. I've got a lot of different trees I've planted in here, and this is where I will either drill or frost seed my pollinator mix into this coming spring. And you can see this is just a big bowl here. And then it actually comes back up to another hill over here that I'll walk over to. It's got some cherries, got some maples, and it's got some pines that are coming in there as little pockets. So now I'm standing on the opposite side. I was just filming over there. This is that whole bowl right here. And I've just freshly disked all this. And I have to walk down over here. There's a little bit of a point that comes out from this, this high ground. And over the last couple of years, I've been noticing a lot more beds popping up in here. There's a bed right there, just a small one, tucked right up in here behind these pines. Notice several beds around some of these little chunks of cover. That's a fresh rub right there. Get over here. There's a bed right there. Bed right here so you can see on a wind that's blowing towards me right now which would be out of the south um, even a uh, more of an easterly wind um, coming out of the west blowing to the east out of here coming right over this hillside these bucks can be completely hidden up here once I get really good cover established and they can bed out on this point right here before it drops off. I'm gonna have food in that lower section and then I'm gonna have my screening that's gonna run all the way around this whole point right here. And these bucks will feel completely comfortable bedding in here once this is really thick. They'll be looking out over here with the wind coming over their back. I've got a travel corridor that's going to run right down through here. It's going to wrap around into destination food. And then I've also got another travel corridor that runs down through here, through those pines, and runs all the way down into more bedding down there. So.